All right, so we've talked a little bit about variable scope, global versus local. Local being inside of functions and global being anywhere inside your script, anywhere outside of the function. But global variables can be accessed inside of functions. Now I want to get a little bit deeper with some new things that were introduced in ECMAScript 6, so ES6, the latest version of JavaScript that's been approved and is slowly working all of its features into all the browsers. The companies who create the browsers are gradually adding all these ES6 features. Variables. We've been using the keyword var to declare our variables. And that works great. Gives us global, gives us local, no problems there. Let is the new way to create a variable. Let gives us global, it gives us local, so you can see I've declared a global variable here. Down here inside of this function I've created a local variable and right here I've created a local variable. So this one can be accessed from anywhere, this one can be accessed only inside of this function, this one can be accessed only inside of this function. Now the additional thing that let gives us is block level scope. Blocks mean anywhere you get these curly braces. So I get a keyword, I get the parentheses, and then I get a set of curly braces. This variable here, C, is only going to exist inside of this. So if I run this function, or run this script rather, there we go, I'm getting an error. Reference error, C is not defined on line 16. So line 16 right here, you can see my error message here, var scope js line 16, that's the line of code right here. It doesn't know what C is. Had no problem with i, i is 100. The for loop ran, got to the very end of the 99, it incremented it to 100, came back up and said, okay, is 100 less than 100? No, let's exit the loop. So when we get down to here, I still exists. It's still existing inside of that function. It's a local variable inside this function. C, however, only exists inside of here. So it's just, it's a little bit more restrictive, but it's going to help you avoid errors in your code. So I recommend that you start transitioning from var to let. The only restriction that we have is some of the older browsers don't support it. If you go back a few years, of course, they don't support it, but um, there was a range of browsers where if you added use strict to the top of your file, it allowed you to access some of the more experimental features in ES6 while the browsers were transitioning over to use them. So we can have this here, we can leave it out, it's not going to make any difference to us, but if you're going to be doing something that's with browsers that are a year or two years old, use strict is a good thing to have in there. Okay, so we have let, which gives us block level scope, var, which is local or global. Let can be used as a local variable, so right here it's block scoped inside the function, Right here, it's block scoped as a global variable. And this is a new one right here as well. Came along with ES6. Const stands for constant. When you want to declare a value, but you don't want it to be changed. You don't want someone to be able to reassign it. So this one cannot be reassigned. So you cannot change the value of this. I'm going to comment this one out just so we don't see that error coming up. We'll clear this out, run this again. Okay, here we go, line 24. This is an error. Type error, assignment to constant variable. This constant, we can't change it. That's the whole point of a constant is that you want to save a value to be used somewhere else in your code, but you don't want anybody else to touch it. You don't want to accidentally change the value. You don't want to accidentally reassign the value to something else. That's what a const is. And you can use them 
globally, you can also use them locally. They're block level scoped as well, just like let. So you can put them anywhere you'd put let, just know that you cannot reassign the values. So there we have var, let, and const. And I encourage you to start using let and const as soon as possible. Uh, currently, support uh, MS Edge, Firefox, Chrome, they all support it. Opera supports it. Uh, Safari, the support is almost there. Within about a year, I'd say Safari is going to be uh, have full support for constant let as well. Um, Internet Explorer, if you go back before version 11, there's no support for them. There's a little tiny bit of experimental support in version 11. But MS Edge, you're good to go.